Brenda Friday Fiasco. It's a family affair. <laughs> Brenda, Brenda Fiasco. Hashtag, bitch. When is my go time? I'm right just... now. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. it's a chill Hi. pod. There's no, there's no intro. Sorry, we're not, never... going vi- we're not going viral on TikTok this time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never chill. <joking. laughs> ev- everyone this week, like all of the Amer- it's such an American thing to say, don't worry, like don't worry, no worries. I'm like, I wake up worried. I have all the worries. Really? Is that well, a like, German quality or is that just you being a ball of stress and anxiety? Yeah, worrying about everything constantly. I think drinking 32 ounces of uh, iced coffee concentrate. Yeah. I think that's, I hope that's not concentrate actually. I'm really not sure. Oh, Let me well, check the bottle real quick. I don't know what no, ounces are. So it's you're also. Good. Um, yeah. Thank you for joining us. I was I'm just so like, excited it, to be here. Is New York Fashion Week compared to the other fashion weeks you go to around the world, is it a busy one or is it kind of fucking, I mean, we know it's whack, but like, is it? No, it's not. I don't think it is. Um, I was talking about this with my, like a colleague just now. New York is very known for international guests. I think there's like four or five main brands that fly people in. Like it's Michael Kors, mm. Kos. If you're a writer, CFDA mm-hmm. flies you in. Uh, who else? Tory Burch. Ooh, that's something good pay else. For Wait, so, so are you going to like the Tory Burch show? <laughs> no, I'm not. In, I, I don't actually think I'm invited to any of that. But <laughs> for example, London, it used to be Burberry used to be the big brand that right. flies a lot of people in. Right. And it's also the big brands bring people to the smaller brands because they don't have budget to fly you in. Trickle down. Uh, so like no one, Burberry is so exclusive now mm-hmm. that a lot of people don't go to London anymore. Is and that I feel Daniel like New Lee's York, fault? Like, Everything's done. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Wait, is, about her, are you because you got in trouble when you posted about him at was it I Balenciaga like or was it Bottega? Not talk about okay. Bottega. Yeah. Bottega. But, Damn, are you banned from Burberry? Um, because of talking shit on TikTok? I of would say <laughs> that I have not had a deal with him since he's there, but that's fine. I think yeah. no one has. Actually, shitty. a lot of people because Burberry is bad, bro. It is not good. Like I'm really saying upsetting. that. And I'm, he's a sick designer. Well, I, presumably. No, I agree. I think he's a great designer. But um, it's such a commercial brand. And then to make something so highbrow and so exclusive. Mm-hmm. And also from my friends who are influencers perspective, when you've worked for a brand for 10 years, like this was the brand who does bag activations, all of this mm-hmm. stuff. And all of a sudden you get ghosted. Ooh. You know, Yo, in the creative direction. It's ghosted very- by a corporation is a, a new level of low yeah, for him. Daniel yeah. toxic fuck boy. Yeah. Well, I don't think he's at the level where he d- makes decisions about like singular sure. influences. He probably just says Unless like you're none. Well, they, they, they probably did a full turnover of like PR agency and, stra- you know, influencer strategy yeah, and all I that. I think so. But yeah, so like no one's, he- no one's hearing about anything besides you're an editor-in-chief, obviously. But- right. It's kind of crazy. If, if somebody gets flown out by a brand, mm-hmm. like a fucking hoe, and <laughs> they like r- don't post enough or don't like write a positive review, will that brand cut them off? Or is it like... I mean, it's. I think it's a very clear distinction between your, your writer, like your press. Yeah. Then your deliverable at some point is press, obviously, but not Good your own. press? <laughs> mm, I think yes. Um, <laughs> All press is good if, press. You know, True. they're an advertiser. And then for influencers, I think... That's all handled beforehand, like your deliverables, right. two posts, sure. well, here's the hashtag. Like it's very, and then sometimes it gets approved even by the brand still your content or you just deliver your deliverables. So this trip say. for Brenda hashtag, mm-hmm. are we more on the side of influencer Brenda or editor Brenda, writer Brenda? I am here with Rimova. Mm-hmm. We see your that's, bad, that's a bad brand. Yeah, I'm oh familiar. I, I, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a fellow Ramova owner, by the way. <laughs> How's his pronunciation? Va, good. Like I was da. like, yes, I was at the brand that's event. And all of like a PR was standing next to me. And I was like, no, it's just va, like like vagina. And right. she was like, I don't think this is the tagline. Here. <laughs> but it made sense. Mm-hmm. So you just pronounce the W like the V. Ramova, like, va, like, like vagina. a big vagina. Yeah. yeah so maybe I'll, I just, it you was just the it. first word <laughs> That I could think of, but I'm gonna. Oh, mm, it's the first word. Pack it in. Yeah. You think but I'm one. here as an editor. Okay, so official. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm you're here during anything. uncertain times. Uh, you know, <laughs> inflation through the roof, war in Ukraine, obviously <laughs> political divisiveness Why are you in laughing? America. <laughs> I didn't know we were going deep, bro. Cl- climate change oh resulting I wasn't in briefed about any 102 of this. degree weather with 150 percent oh. humidity. But perhaps scariest of all. You are here in New York City with tabby boots. There's a ta- <laughs> with tabbies on, and there's a tabby swiper on the loose. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yes. How many times have you tagged on this tabby swiper? Uh, like the whole saga, really? A bit too. I like too many times. <laughs> I have to say, um, I 
you guys know Steph Yorka? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She Steph. was, um, they actually, so she's at Essence now. They sent the Tabby girl the Tabbies. At the moment, yeah. she, uh, she still her didn't ha- have hers back yet. Damn, she now wants to uh, rock, wants to stop. But she got them yeah. back. Yeah. 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 I think she um, got them I think back she was at, someone said she was at our Gantt event, actually. Yeah, but I think she was invited by Gantt. Oh, okay. <laughs> whatever. But we didn't invite yeah, her. But she, whatever. I she's, wasn't she's invited. Of, you weren't in town. This is a million we years can't, ago. We can't afford oh. you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think this no is also before, no we, me. before we knew you. If you're in town, you're getting an invite like first via carrier pigeon right, right. to the standard in the meat pack. Okay. Yeah. I want hair and makeup artist <laughs> yeah. and driver. Exactly. Has the tabby swiper inspired any tabby swiping copycats? I mean, yesterday I w- was walking on Houston Street and someone just, like some people don't stop and say hi to me. They just like scream my name. So they were like two Brenda guys on bikes hashtag. and they were just like, Brenda, hashtag tabbies. And I'm like, what am I supposed to say? Like, what's the reaction? Are you? Tabbies, Margella, Peter Doe. <laughs> like, if, so, if someone was like, Brenda, sign my tabbies, would you do it? Would you deface? I have done that. And also <gasps> I write on the bottom of my tabbies. Uh, what, do you write on, what do you write on them? Like inspirational messages? Or like left foot, right foot. <laughs> Ocean <bottom laughs> No, bombs. I think my last one is just like a heart or something. But I like mm. to, I don't know. I think that's cute to write something. Um, what was the question about the tabby? How many pairs of tabbies did you bring to New York? A white eight centimeter one, a black sun, eight centimeter one, and just tab, white tabby ballerinas. Three. And Three. how many do you think you'll be leaving? Because mm-hmm. you are going into the heart of tabby darkness, yes. Bushwick. Mm-hmm. You got to be careful. Keep your head on the swivel. Yeah. I'm more just getting like disgusted looks on the really? subway. Yeah. Or like Are, children. You know how children just like don't give a fucking stare at oh, you when you think they you're don't like, like your a outfit? monster because you have like a cloven <laughs> hoof? I did it. I always underestimate Mark how sketchy like tabbies are to people or what's like so infuriating about What is she hiding stuff? in that slit? But just because yeah, you so. look like a ninja turtle or something? <laughs> yeah. Like, with like, you think it just people look at it and, and they think you're deformed? I think, I don't know. But I to me, it's such a normal thing. But then when you get taken outside of your little fashion bubble mm-hmm. and are just on the subway in Bushwick, I mean, that's also a fashion bubble, yeah. I guess. De- Jefferson stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hide anything in the tabby slit? I have never. Could like hide, you know, valuable coins or something in there. <laughs> your gold. I'm your metro card. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a metro card. I do it with my phone. Oh, the and Omni. then I also have Shout to do the Omni. double click. Mm-hmm. So every time everyone's waiting behind me, I'm just like. Would, yeah. would a man ever even deign to steal your tabbies? Like what would you, what are you doing in that situation? Is it like a Mark Wahlberg thing on 9-11 where if it was me, it would have gone down differently? I mean, I have not would, never been robbed. So no, I don't think. Also like stealing tabbies. I feel like at this point, the market's quite not oversaturated, but it's not that crazy hard to find. Right. For so good expensive price. though. Yeah. We were, we were like, whoa, these Mary Janes are a thousand dollars. Are they? Just yeah. under. Yeah. We looked it up no, but on the sale norm, for like The 600. normal tabbies are like nine ninety dollars on Essence. No. Yeah. What's the, I, that must be cheaper. No, that's uh, the Mary Janes. The Mary Janes yeah. were also that price. Yeah. Okay. You could find, and then some I'm not saying this is not inflation. an expensive shoe. Of right. course you can right. say that. Um, I don't know, like, the full backstory now. Like, did someone hear from the girlfriend? Like, she what's broke the... up with the guy, apparently. Because she found out she was, was getting, getting cheated on. <laughs> Which, this guy was not very subtle in no. any of his... Like, this guy, not a very subtle fella, right? right. Like, stealing blatantly. Right. Uh, just, you know, trying to gaslight her and then just being caught red-handed. And then also cheating on her girlfriend by being blatantly. on Tinder. Which is like... Yeah, How did someone wild. not just screenshot that and send it to the girlfriend? Yeah. yeah, that's what I always think. The cheating with like a, a public profile on a de- does no one see you? Or is his, you know, that's a bit weird if you're like in the scene. It's a New York model. Well, I, I don't know, if, I don't I know like, if he was in the scene, right? He's just he like, not, he, he just, just might be a fuck boy. She, I feel like with her knitwear brand, this is Alexis, but the guy I think was just a civilian who wore Arcteryx and big green cargo pants. Right. Just a normal Well, I think civilian. it might turn into this, you know, have you ever been asked by a woman like, would you still love me if I was a worm? Like this kind of situation. Yeah. So like, would you fuck someone else and steal their shoes to get me tabbies? Like how far would you go? Ooh, yeah. I like it's that. also like yeah. a, that's yeah. a good icebreaker for a first date have, yeah. moving forward. Have guys ever <laughs> offered you their, like any to pre- cheat on me to get me shoes? <laughs> I've been like, no, I've just been cheated on. Got nothing. Oh, damn. <laughs> I got cheated on. All I got was this lousy pair of tabbies. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Right. I didn't get anything. Are yeah. tabbies like meme to death in Germany or Europe the way that they kind of are here? And that they are like, I mean, I think that's why this story yeah, has such really, legs because tabbies are such a, like a perfect shitstorm of like 2023-ness. For sure. No, I, I think for some people it represents like the worst kind of fashion. I just don't know what makes people so angry about these shows. Like it's also, really not yeah. that crazy. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. 